Hi everyone, it's Vicky here with a new monthly event. So today I will be creating 8 cards using the latest release by my favorite things. So let's start with the first card. For uh, the first card I am using the stamp set that is called Cooler With You and I am choosing some of the designs. I went with the polar bear that is uh, fishing and uh, some of uh, his friends like the penguin and a couple of birds. And I am stamping everything with my black memento ink just because I will be using my Copics to color my images later on. So here are all the images uh, ready to go and now I am going to use the matching dies to cut them out. Notice how I have placed all the dies over my designs but at the same time I am going to use another set of dies, this is the winter trees and I am going to cut out some white ones because I think that uh, they are going to complete my little scene. At this stage I don't know how many trees I want to, so I'm going to cut out a bunch of them and you will see that uh, later on I will end up using only three of them. So I'm going to pop out my images. Now in the Cooler With You die set there is a die that cuts out an oval, which I am going to use to create a hole in the snow. So this is where my little polar bear is uh, fishing from and uh, I'm going to put on top of that one of those uh, edges and uh, this way I'm going to create my snowbank. So I'm going to pass it through my Sizzix machine and you will see the result here. I'm going to leave that aside and I'm going to work with uh, that part of the paper. So you can see that I have a hole there. Now on the back I'm going to use my tape runner all around the hole and then I'm going to stick on top an acetate. I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the excess and I have my little window ready. Now at the back again I'm going to go all around the hole and add some foam tape and I have actually doubled up on uh, foam tape so that my sequin mix is uh, moving nicely inside. I'm going to add the sequence and I went with uh, blue in a metallic color. I'm going to link you down below which mix I have used. And uh, then I'm going to cover up uh, this with a piece of uh, blue cardstock. And you will see that uh, my shaker card is going to look amazing. I am really happy with the result. And uh, now it's time to assemble my card. So for my card base, I'm using this top folding card. This is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to stick the window at the very bottom of my card base. So now I'm going to stick the little uh, creatures on top of my card. I'm just using some tape adhesive at the back. And for some of the images I'm going to use just tape adhesive and stick them directly on top and for some others I'm going to add some uh, dimension by using some foam squares at the back. And now it's time to stamp the sentiment. For that I used this die to cut out a banner out of uh, white cardstock and I'm going to stamp the sentiment with black ink. For the sentiment I went with uh, the one that says to my coolest friend. And I am also going to embellish that uh, banner with a little heart that I have colored in uh, with the same Copic marker that I have colored the scarf of my polar bear so it matches perfectly the image. I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back, stick it on top and now the only thing I have to do is to add some snow on the background. To do so I'm using my Nouveau Drops in white and I'm going to add the snow only at the background. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding some shine with my clear wink of Stella glitter pen.
For my second card, I'm going to stamp some images from the Some Bunny I Love stamp set. And I am choosing the bunny that is sleeping on the bed. And I'm also going to stamp the teddy bear. I'm going to stamp everything with my Memento Toxido Black ink because I plan to, to color everything with my Copic markers. But before I go ahead and color my images, I am going to uh, use the matching dies and cut them out. And I'm going to do some uh, plan ahead here just to, to see where everything is going to go. So I'm going to place them at the very bottom of this uh, cardstock and I'm going to separate those dies. These are from the stitched triple peekaboo window and edge. And I'm going to use only the edge die and cut out this uh, white panel in half. Now this uh, white panel is slightly smaller than a standard card. So I'm going to secure it with a post-it tape. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. So I end up with two pieces from this cardstock and I'm actually going to use both of them. So I'm going to work on the top one for now. And this is where I'm going to create the sky. And I leave the bottom one for later where I will be creating my little scene. So now I'm going to create my sky and for that I'm going to use four different distress ink colors and you can see all the colors on screen right now. I am applying my distress ink directly on top of my uh, cardstock and I'm blending the colors with my blending tool. And I get a lot of questions on how you can end up with a nice and smooth blending. Now all I can say about this technique is to go very smoothly over your uh, cardstock. Don't press too hard. Don't apply any pressure at all. Now I never load my blending tools with too much ink. I prefer to load them again and again rather than uh, load them with too much in the beginning. And then I cannot blend the ink that I have on my paper. I hope that makes sense. So now I'm going to darken up the edge with black suit and then blend them in with my blue color again and I'm happy with how my sky is looking at the moment. I am going to apply some powder just to make sure that my embossing is going to end up nicely and make sure that your ink, your ink is totally dry before you go ahead and do embossing otherwise the embossing powder is going to stick all over the place. So I have stamped the sentiment with my Versamark ink and now I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and you can see the mess there. But with the magic of uh, video editing everything is nice and clean again. From the stamp set I chose to use the sentiment that says dream until your dreams come true. And I'm melting everything with my heat gun. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out some of the stars. And I used the matching dies from the stamp set to cut out stars and uh, the moon out of uh, gold cardstock. So I'm going to stick everything down on my sky. And I like to place everything on my cardstock, deciding where everything is going to go. And then I am moving them slightly to add a little bit of glue underneath. Now I went ahead and used my Copic uh, markers to color the bunny and the little teddy bear and I'm going to assemble back the cardstock. So this matches perfectly since I have cut it out with that die and I am making sure that uh, it's nicely secured at the back and I'm going to add some uh, foam tape which is going to add a little bit of dimension on my panel. And now it's time to assemble my little scene. So I'm using some foam tape at the back of the bed. I'm going to place it at the bottom part of my card. And I'm also going to uh, add the little teddy bear again with uh, foam tape to finish off my card. Now for the third card, I'm going for a clean and simple look. So first of all, I'm going to use this straight edge and I like it because it uh, adds uh, stitching on both uh, sides of uh, the cardstock. So I'm going to secure it and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I end up with two pieces. Now at the very bottom uh, part, I'm going to stamp the sentiment and for the sentiment, I'm going with uh, the one that says, hope you are on the mend. And just because this uh, sentiment is too long, I decided to cut it in half and stamp one below the other. Now you don't really have to cut out the stamps if you don't want to. You can just mask off the part that you don't want to stamp each time. 
And now I'm going to use this uh, die set, which is called Band-Aids, and I am in love with it. I'm going to use the smaller uh, Band-Aid, and I'm going to cut it out two times out of uh, craft cardstock. So I'm also going to cut out the tiny little heart out of a piece of red cardstock, and I'm going to cut out all the pieces twice. So I end up with uh, two band-aid uh, sets. Now I'm going to assemble my card. I'm adding some foam tape at the back of uh, the white panels. And as I am going to stick them on top of my card base, I am going to make sure that they don't uh, match up perfectly. So one is a, a little bit separated from the other. I'm adding foam tape at the back of uh, the second panel. And as I stick it down, you can see the gap that I leave in between. So now it's time to uh, stick those pieces together with the band-aids. I'm going to stick them down and then stick the other pieces on top of them. This is going to create a dimensional look without actually adding any bulk on top. And I'm also going to use my glue pen to add a dot of glue on both band-aids and stick the hearts on top. And now I am going to finish off my card by adding a little bit of gloss on top of the hearts. To do so I am using my Nouveau Drops and that's clear. It's pretty much uh, the same as Glossy Accents and it's going to dry totally clear although it looks uh, milky at the moment. And here is a close-up look where you can see all the details on those band-aids. For my next card I am going for a shaker card and uh, I am going to use some dark blue cardstock which is going to represent the sky and I am using my powder tool at the very bottom of that uh, cardstock because I plan to do some embossing. The sentiment comes from the stamp set that is called Stars Above and I chose to go with a sentiment that says I thank the stars above for a friend like you. I am applying gold embossing powder and I have melted the powder with my heat gun. I hope you can see how shiny it looks now. Now about the little bits of powder that I had from my powder tool, don't worry about that. You can just wipe them out with uh, your fingers. And now I'm going to choose three stars from the Stars Above die set. And I'm going to place them on top of my panel, secure them with some post tape. And then I'm, go I'm going to run them through my Sizzix machine, which is going to cut three windows in star shapes. So at the back, I'm going to create a shaker card here. So I'm adding some uh, tape and I'm going to stick a piece of acetate, which is going to cover up all three of those windows. I hope you can see the windows here. I went ahead and used my foam tape all around those shapes and now I'm adding some uh, sequin mix in uh, gold. I have covered up the windows with gold cardstock and for my card base I'm going for a top folding card which is again in gold. This is going to complement the gold sequins inside those uh, windows. And this is a beautiful and sparkling card. Here is a close-up look. For the fifth card, I am going to use the stamp set that is called Our Story. This uh, uh, December release by My Favorite Things has so many beautiful um, stamp sets that it's so difficult to choose a favorite, but uh, I think this has to be the one. So I am going to create a scene. You know I love creating scenes on my cards, and I have chosen the little girl that is sitting on the armchair. I have chosen little bits and pieces from the, the rest of the designs and uh, I am going to stamp everything with my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I am going to color everything with my Copic markers. Of course, you can go ahead and use your favorite uh, coloring method. I'm not going to share coloring the images just because I have to share eight cards and it would make the video too long. And uh, I am going to use the matching dies to cut out everything. So here is everything ready to go. From the latest uh, paper pad collection, I am going to use this pattern paper with the stripes, which is going to be the background for my card. I am using a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to create the scene here. 
So once you color everything, the card goes pretty fast from there on. All you have to do is to decide where everything is going to go. And for some of the images, I'm going to stick them directly on top of the card with glue, uh, while for other, I am going to use some foam squares at the back, which is going to add some dimension and uh, create the illusion that some things are in front of others, just like the cute little uh, kitty here, which is sleeping in front of the armchair. There is a puppy as well in the stamp set, so depending on your animal, you can choose your favorite. And you already know that I have a ginger cat, so I just couldn't help it ahead to add that cat there. Now I think this card is looking uh, really adorable, all I have to do to finish it off is to stamp uh, the sentiment and uh, for that I'm using the sentiment that says read, relax, repeat from that stamp set and I have uh, stamped it on one of those banners that you can cut out if you use the stitched sentiment strips from the same release. I used foam tape at the back for some dimension and this finishes off my card. So now let's go for a very colorful and a happy card with lots of flowers. I am going to start by using these dies on uh, the white panel and I'm going to use both the edge and the windows. And after running it through my Sizzix machine, this is what I end up with. So I have uh, three little windows there with a nice bottom edge. And this is going to end up on that uh, yellow card base. So now I'm going to use the kindness die and cut it out of uh, white cardstock. And now I'm going to stick the word kindness at the very bottom of my card base. Now I am using my Nuvo uh, glue pen at the back and stick that on the card. And since I wasn't paying any attention, I went ahead and added the dot on top of the letter D instead of the letter I, and don't ask me why, it took me a lot of time to realize that the dot was in the wrong place. So anyway, I was um, lucky later on to be able to take it off and place it in the um, correct position. So anyway, I am going to stamp uh, the rest of the sentiment here, and I am going to do some um, surgery of uh, sentiments. So I am cutting out uh, bits and pieces from this sentiment that says a little kindness goes a long way. So I am going to stamp a little on top of my die cut and goes a long way at the bottom, which means that I am going to omit the word kindness from that sentiment. Since I have replaced it with the big die cut in white. So my sentiment is ready at the bottom of my card and now I can go ahead and stamp the flowers. All these flowers come from the Doodle Blossoms collection. And again I haven't shared how I colored everything, I just used my Copic markers. And as you can see I have used the matching dies to cut out the flowers as well as some leaves and some uh, stems. And actually the stems are cut out of uh, green cardstock. So I'm adding some dots just to make them cuter here and there on the flowers. And now I'm working on my window panel and I'm adding some foam tape at the back which, which is going to keep it raised from the background. And uh, I want to stick inside some flowers coming out so I need to have that dimension. My card base is a standard uh, card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am going to stick the panel at the very bottom of my card and now I can stick inside the flowers. So I'm going to decide where everything is going to go first and once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to commit and add the glue.
to finish off my card, I am adding some shine on the flowers with my clear Wing of Stella glitter pen. Now for this card I'm going to use the Bedside Comfort uh, die set and I'm going to cut it out as it is, everything. And um, what is great about that is that uh, you can create a dimensional tray with uh, little bits and pieces to put inside and uh, it doesn't actually come with a matching uh, stamp set. So I'm going to pop out everything. So I am going to decide where every, how everything is going to be assembled. So I'm going to go for a bowl with the um, spoon inside, the vase with the flowers, as well as uh, the napkin inside that uh, paper napkin box. So I'm going to use my Copic markers to color everything. And for the spoon, I am going with that uh, glitter pen which is going to, st to turn the spoon into silver and very shiny one. I hope you can see the shine, which is really difficult to catch on camera. Now I have uh, went ahead and cut out that tray, the two pieces from the tray again, out of uh, wood grain paper. And this is going to give a great texture now that I am going over it with my Distress inks. So I hope you can see the texture now. It really looks wooden. And I am first going over it with Vintage Photo. I'm applying some ink with my blending tool. And then again I'm going over it with Aged Mahogany, which is going to give it an even uh, warmer uh, color. So I am going to uh, cut out thin strips of uh, foam tape and add them at the back of uh, that piece. And then I am going to stick that on top of the tray, which is going to turn the tray dimensional. Now I am going to put on some music and let you see how I assemble everything so that you can uh, take a look on how everything comes together. And I'm going to assemble the vase with the flowers directly on the final card. So here is my card base. I want to create some interesting background. So I'm using the stencil. This is the star grid stencil. And I'm going over it very softly with Distress Ink. I want to keep this uh, card clean and simple. But at the same time, I want to have a little something at the background. So now it's time to stick everything down. And I'm going to place everything inside my tray by adding some glue at the back. I am going to finish off the flowers by adding some white dots with my Nouveau drops as well as some polka dots on the bowl with the soup. And now from the Feel Better stamp set I have chosen my sentiment which I am going to stamp with black ink at the bottom of my card that says sending hugs and get well wishes and this is going to finish off my card.
And for the last project for today, instead of creating a card, I am going to create a bookmark. So I am using uh, the stamp set that is called Bookworm. I am going to stamp it with uh, Toxido Black Ink on white cardstock. And again, I used my Copic markers to color everything and then using my die to cut it out. So now I'm going to go through the pattern papers and decide which goes best with the coloring on uh, my little girl. And I decided to go with the green one. I am applying a lot of uh, tape on top of my tag and I'm going to cover it up completely with that pattern paper. Now this is a bookmark that I am making for my daughter. She loves to read books and uh, she always needs uh, new bookmarks. So I'm going to place the little girl on top of my tag and then I am going to use my crocodile to add the whole bag at the top and I am going to place a gold eyelet with my crocodile again so I can thread through some ribbon. You need to remember that if you are making a bookmark, you need to keep everything flat. Since this is going to stay inside the pages of a book, you shouldn't uh, use any foam squares at all. I am using my scissors to trim the tails of the ribbon just a little bit. And my tag is pretty much finished. All I have to do is to add some shine by using my clear Wing of Stella glitter pen. So now let's take a quick look on everything that I have created for today. Don't forget that there is a full list of all the supplies that I used today down below in the description area on YouTube as well as on my blog. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you want a closer look to the December release by my favorite things, then click this video. Thank you all for watching!